Okay, welcome back. Let's model our bodysuit, uh, also called the undersuit, but uh, technically this is the LCVG of every astronaut. It is the liquid cooling and ventilation garment. Um, it's the suit that astronauts wear underneath their spacesuit. So uh, we're gonna model this really, it's really very quick and easy. All you need to do is highlight the faces of the body that we've already modeled plus um, I'm gonna go up the neck a little bit as if it's you know, kind of like a mock turtleneck and uh, take it right to the edge of the wrist and down to the ankles and then all we're gonna do is uh, separate it okay separate it with P and now we've created a new object so we essentially separated the body from the body uh, because these things are form-fitting Okay, now let's uh, take the faces around the wrist and swell them out a little bit. Um, you can do that by extruding from normals. So now when we extrude from normals, they all go in the direction that they're facing. And we can make the, uh, the wrists and the ankles um, a little poofy, right? As if they're, well, I don't know if you've ever, um, you, you've ever worn a dry suit um, or even a wet suit. Um, in the ocean and it, it's always it's always a little bit um, you want a little uh, a little more material so now let's add uh, a cylinder and you want, where it says cap fill we want nothing so this essentially makes a hollow cylinder and uh, then let's scale this down and build out our spacesuit um, now the spacesuit is called an EMU it uh, stands for extra vehicular mobility unit and these things are gnarly. Um, you know, it's got like a full life support system built inside. And this is what astronauts typically wear when they, when they go on their spacewalks. So uh, we're going to build a very loose, very low poly spacesuit. And don't worry about how this thing looks because we're going to add a modifier on it later. And then we're going to sculpt. And then we're, gonna, we're, we're really going to add some fun, uh, some folds and... Uh, some waves and, and we'll really build we'll bring the suit to life but in the early going just you know and you can see me i'm just extruding here this is all stuff we've done extrude scale maybe rotate a little bit and what we're trying to do is uh, model a very low poly spacesuit around the body that we've already built okay and use your references and just very slowly build it out. Now I'm gonna take uh, these faces and get rid of them so I can extrude the arm. And after I delete the faces, obviously I'm gonna use the, uh, the loop tools, which I'm absolutely loving. It's one of my favorite plugins slash add-ons for Blender. And we can make that a circle and then we can extrude uh, a true circle to build out um, our arm, okay? And again, you, you know how to do this. It's just E to extrude. S to scale, R to rotate. We've done these things probably, honestly, if you've made it this far, we've done these things a thousand times by now. And uh, well, they say repetition is the mother of skill, so uh, we're gonna keep uh, repeating ourselves, okay? And just, just take it slow. I mean, you can see, honestly, he's really gonna look like the Tin Man here from The Wizard of Oz. And that's okay. Again, we're going to add a multi-resolution modifier down the road, and then we'll, we'll really be able to add some some lovely form to to our to our suit. In the meantime, add a couple of loop cuts with Control R and then middle mouse wheel up to add more and more, um, just so we have some geometry that we'll be able to build out the elbow when the time comes. Okay, now let's add a mirror modifier, and we do that by selecting half of our model and deleting it completely. Okay, we've done this before a few different times. That's no problem. Let's kick over. Let's tab in object mode and then go into our properties panel and add a mirror modifier. And so now, again, we only have to edit uh, one half, which is great. So what I'm doing here is if you notice that your suit um, is inside the body, if the body kind of pierces outside of the suit, just select the suit and then go into proportional editing and drag the suit around the body so that there are no um so that the the body of our astronaut doesn't come through the suit and you know this is this is just uh, essentially 
touch up. And what we're doing right now should feel familiar because we did the exact same thing when we built out our torso and when, when, when we built out our leg. So we're just extruding here and then we can use our smooth tool and then we'll extrude again and we can square this out. We can null this out so you can scale on the X at zero. Um, that's no problem. And then again, same thing we did with the body. Just use our reference as a, that's why they call it a reference and uh, build out the leg of our spacesuit. And it's gonna be clunky, it's gonna be low poly. I cannot stress enough, that's no big deal. Um, because we'll, we're gonna sculpt in the next one and that's then it's gonna get super fun and the, the suit is really gonna come to life. Okay, and all I'm doing right now is just touching up the model with proportional editing on. Okay, we'll extrude again. And you can see the kneecaps, that's exactly what I'm talking about, where the kneecaps are kind of um, coming out of the suit, that's fine, we'll, we'll fix that in a minute. For now, let's build out um, our moon boots so we can moon walk, and then we'll bring that down a little bit. And now, just again, with proportional editing on, just grab a couple of verts and pull our suit around our body, okay? Just like that. Okay, now let's do the same thing for our gloves. Now let's make some gloves. So in the exact same way that we made our bodysuit, Let's go and select all the vertices around our hand and uh, shift D to duplicate to make our own object. And then we can P to separate it, um, to separate it. So now we have two individual objects and then just boom, scale it up. And what we're doing is we're creating a glove to go around our fingers. And this, this depending on you know the shape and size of your hands, this is going to take some extra touch up. And you can see all I'm doing is using proportional editing to make the glove model around our finger and then we're going to add some and this here is to taste you guys you can make it um as they can be long gloves they can be short gloves they can be you know like a like a baseball bat glove or like a horse rider glove they can go as far up the arm as you want them to um this that that's kind of a dealer's choice and then you you want to make sure uh, to extrude and scale them in so that they kind of, that they connect to the space suit, right? That's that's important. You don't want to leave any uh, leave any holes or open air in there, okay? And then you can throw a mirror modifier on there. But then remember, we want to set our mirror point as the astronaut, so it knows where to mirror, okay? All right, looking sharp. Now let's uh, let's add another cylinder and let's make the, let's set the cap fill to nothing, and uh, let's make the belt of our spaceman. Okay, let's give him a little a little utility belt, and this this can be as advanced or as simple as you want. I'm just going to make a a, a, a low poly belt, um, something that all of you know how to do by now, and um, with proportional editing turned on, I'm going to bring the sides up a little bit because the the hip bones are always a little bit higher um, on the sides of the human frame. So we'll bring that up just a scotch. Uh, again, with proportional editing turn on, it, it adds a, a nice little curve. And now you're you're now we're making our utility belt. You can add any access you can accessorize this to Kingdom Come. So let's let's give it a little form. I'm gonna alt click around the uh, the edge loop, and I'm going to extrude and scale that in just a scotch. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom. And we've created a little bit of depth, and so now I'm going to connect these uh, with F, like so. And then with one edge selected, just keep hitting F, and you will connect uh, all the way around fully your loop. And now we now we have uh, some form. You could also use a solidify modifier if you wanted to. And now I'm going to make a, a quick belt buckle. Um, just because just because I want to you don't have to this is a design choice you can if you want to make this as um, involved or complex or as basic as you'd like I'm just gonna do a quick inset um, and then I think I'm going to grab the faces and move them in on the y-axis um, just, just to inset those a little bit but if you want to have yours be you know if you're maybe if you're from Texas and you got a huge belt buckle that's cool if you are Elvis and you want to have like a a kingly belt buckle that's amazing now i'm going to make a quick holster on the right hand side so we can have our 
a ray gun, a ray blaster. And all I'm doing is extruding, grabbing, insetting, moving again and again. And this is, this is to taste. Okay, I'm going to remove these faces. Oh, you can see right here, if your edges are a little too sharp, just bevel that with Control B. Um, I'm going to apply apply the mirror modifier, okay? And now all of the geometry is real. So we can select the second holster and just delete those faces, okay? And then clean it up, make sure you delete all of the faces. And now you have a belt buckle with a holster just like that. So uh, that was that was enjoyable for me. I hope it was enjoyable for you. And in the next one, we're going to start sculpting. And if you've never sculpted before, oh man, this is going to be a great introduction to sculpting and we're going to have a blast. So get up, get a bend, get a stretch, and we'll see you in the next one.